Texas marked its third consecutive home loss to the Big 12 South leader Baylor this weekend and exhibited a team that was unable to maintain its momentum and finish in the red zone. Well, any time that uh, you come up short, you're disappointed. But the bottom line is we didn't get in, we, we didn't get in uh, in the red zone, <clears throat> and, that, uh, and that ended up costing us. We're still kicking entirely too many field goals and not scoring touchdowns, and we're going to have to improve in that area. And it's frustrating because we've always been able to score down there. We've been a great red zone team. We're working on it all the time, and uh, it doesn't seem to be getting much better. None of us are going to get used to losing around here. Uh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt worse and worse every week uh, that we continue to let it happen. Though Texas carries a losing record in the Big 12 and potentially faces a losing season, coaches and players see a difference in the demeanor and spirit of the team. The offense was more tonight what we're looking for, except we got a score. Garrett seemed to get better to me today. I thought he, he managed the game well. He ran better. Uh, there's still some opportunities, I thought, in the first half for him to run. Well, this is definitely a time of adversity, but the great teams come together in times like these. And uh, we're a great team. We're going we're gonna to grow stronger and come together. If they'll keep fighting and, and finish strong, at least we can start building on this at the end of this year and, and try to um, get something headed towards spring. Texas wears the white jerseys this weekend as they travel up to Kansas State to take on the Wildcats. The Longhorns are 1-3 and three at home and 3-1 and one on the road. Rebecca Rushworth, College Press Box.